We are Everton. We are a global football family bound by the ties of more than 140 years of history and heritage. Our heart and our home is North Liverpool and always will be. We are the people's club, built for the people, by the people. And the new chapter is about to begin. The first pages of a bold and endlessly gloried story to take our proud and shared inheritance into the future. This is heritage. This is the people's heritage. And the thread which connects our city's historic docks and the Everton fans is one which has never been broken. The dock workers were fans, our family, and sometimes our footballing heroes. I started going a game just after the ball, when I was about eight years of age. Me and me, the two brothers, used to chop wood, and we used to sell it, and we'd get enough money to go in the boys' pan, and that's when we first started going. The docks will always be a part of our city's DNA, but this story is about so much more. It is about much more than a new stadium for Everton Football Club. The grand old lady, founding member of the Football League and at the heart of so many lives and so many memories. It's about a catalyst for the creation of jobs and prosperity, kick-starting the regeneration of long-neglected dockland which has lain quiet, empty, unloved, largely unseen for decades. A stunning and iconic riverfront landmark, a cauldron of noise and a fortress of football, lightning in a bottle, recognised across the world, a home for sport and entertainment, a stadium for all of the people and so much more. transformational opportunity, an opportunity this city must grasp for our children and our children's children. So not just a new chapter for Everton, but a new chapter for an entire city, breathing new life into our beautiful river, building tomorrow's heritage today. This is the People's Project. This is the People's Stadium.